Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S5 Root.com. Today we're going to go through uh, basics of backing up a ROM and restoring ROM. Um, you can use this method. This will actually back up pretty much everything on your phone, uh, all your settings, all your app data, uh, everything except for the contents of your internal storage or SD card, such as personal photos, videos. Uh, but everything else is saved. This is a great way. Um, to you know if you lose your phone but you made a backup ROM and you you can actually copy your backups into your hard disk um, you can get a new S5 uh, you know root it again install clock from my recovery restore your ROM and boom shakalaka you'll be back um, you know back up and running in no time um, this is also a great way to uh, back up uh, any custom ROMs that you install and then you know if you wanna if something goes wrong with the ROM then you can go ahead and go back to your previous ROM um, since it saves all your settings app data uh, pretty much everything in your phone uh, so really nice so let me go ahead and show you how to do this um, first you'll wanna go into clock remote recovery a custom recovery I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Phil's recovery Phil's clock remote recovery go ahead and power off your phone um, Twerp is pretty much identical, the menus are different, but uh, you should be able to do it, just back up ROM. Um, so once your phone is powered off, go ahead and hold down volume up, center, home, and the power, and go ahead and hold it down until you see recovery booting at the top left. And of course, before you do this, you do have to have a Galaxy S5 that's rooted with a custom recovery installed. If you don't have that, go ahead and follow instructions over at galaxyS5root.com. Uh, once here, go ahead and uh, you can use the touch screen or you can use the buttons here. And go ahead and go to backup and restore. And uh, if you do have a micro SD card inserted, you should see uh, two options backup to SD card or SD card one, or um, it's going to be called the second one. But I don't have a micro SD card inserted, so I'm going to go ahead and back up to my slash SD card, which is my internal storage. Um, simply press that. And this will start backing up your current ROM. Right now I have a stock ROM um, and uh, basically backs up all your apps, everything. Um, so this is probably the custom ROMing 101. And I will be back when this is done. Uh, it should take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And also make sure you have enough battery. I have 43% of battery. You don't want this thing going off while it's doing it, obviously. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so it is almost done here and uh, basically when you make a backup ROM it's going to be stored uh, under clock ROM directory probably. I'll actually show you um, after I reboot after, uh, I'll also show you how to restore ROM. Um, basically it gets stored in a folder that you can you know store on your computer just copy over the whole folder. And there we go, it is done and you can go ahead and hit the home button there and I will show you the folder later, uh, but let's say you've installed a new custom ROM, you ended up in a boot loop or something, uh, or you just want to restore your old stock ROM back. Uh, what you can do is boot into Clock My Recovery like I showed you with the buttons after turning off your phone. Um, go ahead and go to Backup and Restore. Um, go ahead and find the backup you did. Um, so it's in my SD card, so I'm going to go ahead and choose Restore from SD card. And there's the folder right there. It should be stored under Clockwork Mod Backup folder. Uh, for twerp, it's twerp slash backup also, I think. Um, and also, it should be timestamped. For some reason, uh, my, my date is wrong here, but don't worry about it. You can also change the name of the folder uh, after you reboot into system. Uh, make sure there's no spaces. That will cause MD5 errors in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, which I just backed up. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, restore say yes and this should take another five to ten minutes and when this is done um, it will restore whatever I restored so I'll be back when this is done hi folks so it is done restoring and uh, you don't have to factory reset or anything like that before you restore um, so don't do that and also after restoring you don't have to do anything simply reboot system now and it should have restored whatever ROM you restored. Since I just restored the ROM I just backed up, uh, it should just boot into stock uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S5 here, um, since I'm using a T-Mobile Galaxy S5. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the folders you need to copy over um, once this is booted, so I'll be back. Oh, that was quick, it actually booted up right away. Um, so I've got my whole ROM back here. Let me go ahead and show you in my files. And if you go to my files here, and go to device storage 
um, you will find Clockwork Mod, new directory called Clockwork Mod Directory and Backup Folder. Now this is the folder you can go ahead and uh, rename. You can go ahead and rename it. And I'm just going to call it Stock Timo S5 ROM. All right, and you can go ahead and did it do it? Ah, I don't know why it didn't do it. Let me go. I didn't hit save. Probably. Let's rename it uh, Timo S5 Stock. All right, hit OK. All right, for some reason it's not renaming with my files. What you can do is go ahead and copy this whole folder. Inside the folder, it has all of your backup of your system directory, data, apps, all that good stuff. Um, go ahead and copy this folder into your hard disk. And also, since this backup contains all your personal information, I do highly recommend um, you know maybe perhaps encrypting it if you're going to put put it in cloud storage. Uh, you can use a, um, like a zip. A simple zip file that will you'll be able to put a password on it or just put it somewhere you know no one's gonna touch um, so go ahead and copy this folder uh, on you can even copy it to your micro SD card um, or put it on your computer that's my preferred method uh, or whatever and you may need it sometime or you can just leave it on the device uh, but I'm telling you just in case you lose your phone I'll make a backup to your computer. Anyway, that was how to make a backup of ROM and restoring ROM using Clockmon Recovery on the Galaxy S5. Again, with Twerp, um, the process is nearly identical. Just look for backup and restore in Twerp, and that's about it. Uh, and make sure you make backup ROMs before you install new ROMs. Um, that way you can quickly um, go back to whatever ROM you're on. Uh, even records, you know, whatever I download it, all of the settings you use. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, um, if you have a Galaxy S5, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys5root.com. Um, also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash galaxys5root. And I will see you guys soon. As always, uh, stay hot on Android. Yeah.